I also have certain sentiments left unsaid. I wanted to tell her that the aurora I saw in Snezhnaya was just as beautiful as the ones in the pictures. But a shadow's memories reset at dawn. Had we delayed any longer, we wouldn't have had the time to say goodbye. Whatever regrets may linger, let them be lost to the coming of a new day. Father? <coughs> it's Linny! Hey, Linny! What is he doing back here? Let's go check it out. Father, the bottled flames have been administered. Filial and the others have left the house. And you? What have you decided? <clears throat> Thank you for giving us that choice, Father. But we never wanted to leave the house. It's the only home we've ever known. Lynette and Fremenay feel the same way. They're recuperating back at the Hotel Bouffe d'Ete. But I decided to come back and tell you where we stood. I'm sure you're well aware of the expectations I have for you. I want you to follow in my footsteps and become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. I must admit. I'm rather surprised by your decision to stay. There's nothing wrong with choosing to live a quiet life. Leading this organization is a heavy responsibility, one not so easily carried by someone forced onto the throne. I just never understood what you saw in me, what made you believe I was deserving of that throne. You're brave, talented, and, most importantly, you cherish your family. You would do anything to protect them, even if it costs you your life. Speaking up back there was so brave of you, Linny. It's all thanks to you that we were able to convince Father to back down. You're a hero, Linny. Hero? Father is the real hero. Had Father gone all out during the duel, there's no way I would have walked away with my life. She must have had it all planned from the beginning from the very moment she suggested a duel. I'm not deserving of that title. I'm not strong enough or smart enough. You're wrong. In my opinion, all you need to be deserving of the throne is conviction and the necessary strength to act on it. We may have different ideas of what it means to be a family, but you can hardly be said to lack conviction. What you truly lack is strength. For someone of your talent, though, that's something that will come with time. Even without that strength, you still chose to face me in a duel, even though the odds were stacked against you. That capacity to honor your convictions is what I truly see in you. Father. No one knows what the future holds, what tragedy or triumph may be in store. Being at the head of this organization requires the strength of will to face whatever comes. Caution will only hold you back. 
If reaching a certain standard were required to go after what you want, I would never have succeeded in killing my predecessor. Back then, there was still a considerable gap between our abilities. Strength may decide the ultimate victor, but those who let a lack of strength dictate their decisions or undermine their convictions will never be worthy of the throne. I understand, Father. Thank you. Children must grow up to surpass their parents. Only then can a family continue to flourish. The road ahead is not an easy one, so I'll ask you one last time. Are you certain you want to stay? You've done so much for me, Father, and that kindness must be repaid. Plus, with Project Stuja at hand, there are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't intend to back down. Protecting my family at all costs. That's my conviction. Then you're welcome to stay. As for Project Stuja, you need not be too concerned. If those cowardly businessmen and heartless dignitaries try to take us down, I'm prepared to teach them a lesson. Having members who longed for the light was our organization's last weakness. With those members no longer among our ranks, the House of the Hearth is like a spider hiding in the shadows. We need only wait for our prey to come to us. At present, our imperative is to use their plan to our advantage. In doing so, a crimson moon shall rise amid the frigid blizzards of winter. No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded, and no sacrifice shall be in vain. As for the two of you, whether we meet again as friend or foe, I'll remember the camaraderie we shared in this moment. No matter how arduous the journey ahead, I hope we both reach our desired destination.